Ready the crew, Mr. Faulkner. We sail for Chesapeake Bay. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown.
shorts all sunk. We're on our own now, sir. Oh, God. Where are our blasted reinforcements? They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place? We... 
Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. Tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral. He waits for you to light the signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well. Charles! Gone. Uh, uh, come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. After all your skills, you are still but a boy. With uh, so much left to learn. Uh, uh, give me Lee! Impossible. He... Uh, is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. <laughs> you act as though you have some right to judge. I've shown you. All I've said and done should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We did not harm your people. Ah, we did not support the cr So 
Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. This is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Haytham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to the story. <sighs> Only one way to find out. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. Some days, mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me now more than ever. I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee. We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon fall. Either into our service or into the ground. And then, my friends, all of this will finally be ours. We have Haytham to thank for this. He and all those others who sacrificed for our cause. He sent me away that day at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will.
will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the severed heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet! He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. Not so bold now, I. Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry.
believe these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No. Please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. <laughs> 